The IMTS industry show is back with a punch. Today we're just outside of Taipei visiting Yu Queen. Now this company is amongst the leading manufacturers of microforming equipment, not just here in Asia, but around the globe. Microforming, you might be asking yourself what exactly? Microforming what? Well, the tiny things that you can see in these vials here. Micro fasteners in all shapes and forms. And today we're taking a look at one of their most unique models, the MF4P. It's a four die, four punch, cold forming machine. So in the next 30, 40 minutes or so, we'll learn everything about this model and about the Uqueen team. And of course, we want to start with Uqueen's general manager, Miss Kathy E. Kathy, welcome to the show. Hi, Camille. Nice to meet you and welcome to Uqueen company. Nice to meet you as well and thank you very much for having us today. Now, Kathy, before we talk about the MF4P, maybe you can tell us a little bit more about Uqueen the company. Sure, for over 30 years, Yukon machinery has been focused on microforming technology, particularly for fasteners. We are one of the leading brands worldwide. And that you are actually amongst the best of the best becomes clear when looking at the MF4P. Now, Kathy, this machine is one of your more advanced models for especially intricate, especially complex fasteners, right? Yes, this machine MF4P is one of our high-end models. It's a four-die, four-blow machine. Capable of the wire diameter is from 0.8 to 3 mm. And the cutoff length is from 2 to 25. All right, so these are the standard specifications for the MF4P, but you do also offer customization options for people who are looking for even higher precision when it comes to the wire diameter or the cutoff length, right? Yes, we are happy to adjust any series to meet our customer requirement. And uh, the cutoff length could be as small as 0 0.6. 0 0.6 millimeters. Wow, that's incredible. So, Kathy, I'm sure it's not easy to get it down to these tiny dimensions, right? That's right. Only very few microforming manufacturers in the world could reach such a small cutoff length. Mm -hmm. For any customer who has a fastener production demand, we could help. Tell us your need and the parts for quotation. We will give you customized support in very short order. Okay, excellent. So you've heard it. And uh, Uqueen actually has a wide range of microforming, microheading, and also thread rolling machines to offer. But today the focus is on the MF4P 4 die, 4 blow cold former. Kathy, thank you very much so far for this introduction. You're welcome. And uh, I'll see you again at the end of the show. But now it's time for your team to introduce the MF4P. So see you in the next segment where we'll find out how exactly this machine creates these incredible micro fasteners. All right, now it's time to learn more about the MF4P 4 die 4 blow microforming machine. I'm being joined by two members of the Uqueen team. We've got Miss Sunny Yao from the sales department and Mr. Chandler Wen from the R&D department. Guys, welcome to the show. Yeah, nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Nice to meet you guys as well. Are you ready to introduce the MF4P? Ready. Yes, I'm ready. Wow, I can see Chandler, you are very ready. So usually I would say ladies first, but since you are so excited, why don't you tell us about the most important design features of this machine? Sure, one outstanding feature is the design. Our work linkage design allows the main slider to be assembled. With a trip to little cleaners, it enhances the position of production. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned uh, the linkage. I think uh, one important thing is also the disassembly is very easy with this design. Yeah, to disassemble the linkage, you only need to remove the part at the joint. It's a lot for the future maintenance and the position adjustment. All right, so while designing this machine, of course, you're already thinking about the operator and trying to make things easier for them. Yeah. Okay. Now Chandler, you just mentioned enhancing precision. Obviously precision is of the utmost importance when it comes to forming these micro fasteners that we're seeing here. So maybe you can tell us a bit more about what kind of control features the MF4P has during the forming process that ensure that your customer gets 
just about the right dimensions and shapes that they expect. At each step of the manufacture process, we have multiple designs for a precise adjustment. In the finished step, let me for a user equips to transform material. The grip are driven by a cylinder, so you can define and the precise pressure adjustment, and the wire will not be squeezed mm -hmm. and deformed. Okay. Also, a visual gauge and the pressure knob can set a adjustment type for you, and allow quicker change for different wire sizes. The wire is fed by one-way bearings to prevent the material pulling back and shoot fitting. Okay, now you just mentioned the, the visualized gauge, but Sunny, that's actually not the only visual feedback on the MF4P that makes life much easier for the operator, right? That's right. We have several visual displays on MF4P. The wire fitting lens can be checked on a scale, and the wire cutoff lens can be checked by a gauge. These visual displays help technicians to get the ideal wire length the first time. Mm -hmm. And it makes the setup works to be easier and more efficient, especially for experienced technicians. From our experience, this visual display for wire feeding and wire cutoff lens reduce the machine setup time by at least 60%. 60%? Okay, so you are increasing your customer's productivity, reducing uh, wasted material. So in other words, you're helping them save money. Absolutely. All right. Now, uh, Sunny, I remember your boss, Miss E, she mentioned that the smallest cutoff or the shortest cutoff length for the MF4P is actually 0.6 millimeter. That's incredible. But this is a customization option, not the standard, right? Correct. Normally, our customer don't need to go to that extreme position. Mm -hmm. For NA4P, the standard wire cutoff lens is from 2 mm to 25 mm. The cutoff accuracy can be controlled within plus minus 0.01 mm. But to meet customized requirements, we also offer a minimum cutoff lens of 0.6 mm, just like you said and a wire diameter down to 0.8 millimeter. Okay, so you will make adjustments according to the individual manufacturing requirements of each customer. Exactly. Okay, great. Now, next up, we want to talk about a crucial part of the MF4P or any forming machine, the clamping system. And I imagine with such tiny components, it can be quite a challenge to ensure reliable clamping during the forming process day after day after day. So, Chandler, can you tell me a little bit about the design of the clamping system on the MF4P? Sure, we have a very reliable solution. Our module clamp are small size, compact and flexible. They can deliver stable transmission and the reproduction rate up to 0.01 mm every three months of reciprocating positioning. Mm -hmm. It is quite suitable for the production of micro-position products. All right, Channel, so what you're saying is just every three months the positioning will deviate by roughly 0.01 millimeters. Yes. Okay, so that means in one year I would only have to check the positioning accuracy four times. That's right. Okay, now you just mentioned the modular design of the clamp. Sunny, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, we offer three types of modular clamp. One active type and two passive types. Mm -hmm. What about the active type? The active type is for lateral travel of material from one die to the next. It adopts a double clamp design to control clamp opening and closing. Mm -hmm. Also, a clamping point can be fine adjusted according to the material size. This avoids material dropping and scratching and achieves fast and precise material pickup and transfer. Okay, so that was the active type and then we have two passive type clamps, right? Yes, white for passive opening and the rotation. It's a short, precise object. Pick up in a 180 degree rotation and the precise position during die to die transfer. The second one is the passive opening and the lateral travel. Mm -hmm. It's a large transfer of special short face thinners. Okay, so the modular design gives uh, the customer a lot of flexibility depending on what kind of fastener, what kind of shape they want to form. Absolutely. All right, and Chandler, we have one more clamp, the final one. 
In addition, there is a fifth client. There is to pick up the finished product and the transfer land of the job of code. Okay, so the final transfer. Yes. Okay, now we want to talk about also about the punching and forming process itself in more detail now. So from my understanding, one issue with cold forming machines is that sometimes the material can get stuck during the die-to-die -die transfer. But I know that we have some design features on the MF4P that help prevent it, right? Yes. MF4P has the detailed design to kick out the material from main die after forming each station. It prevents the issue of material getting stuck within the die. Besides, the mechanism is driven by independent cams. It allows the die design to be more flexible. The independent cams can be customized within two kick-out timing sequences. All right, uh, so that was the die kick-out design. And we also want to talk about the punch kick-out, right? PKO. Yes, the PKL design is driven to a mechanism that kicks out the material at the end of the punch mm -hmm. after forming each finished product. Mm -hmm. It can prevent the material from getting stuck in the punch, which can cause the material overlapping and the collision between die and punch. Okay, so what happens to the cut-off leftover material? The front waste is primed, separate from the finished product and moved to layer to respective collection shoot. Okay. Now, Chandler, even with such a high precision microphone machine like the MF4P here, when you're forming hundreds, thousands, ten thousands uh, of uh, micro fasteners, you will still have a few that don't meet the quality requirements. So, how does the machine filter those out? The MF4P can detect defective product. Mm -hmm. In that case, the machine will stop automatically. Okay, so the machine stops automatically to give the operator some time to check the setup, check the dice, see if anything is wrong and make adjustments if necessary. Yes. All right. Now, Chandler, you just mentioned that the machine automatically separates waste material, but that's also the case for defective work pieces, right? Yes, the detector separates good and defective product to avoid being mixed. Mm -hmm. It ensures 100% no jamming and no missing. Well, the finished products are dropped off. Okay, excellent. Now, another very important thing is uh, that the work area has to be lubricated at all times, all the dyes and the whole, this whole area basically. So that's also one thing that we want to highlight, the lubrication system of the MF4P. Yes, MF4P adopts a dual loop Balance oil circulation lubrication system. Mm -hmm. It ensures the stable lubrication of all machine parts. Moreover, it has a three layer oil filtration system. Mm -hmm. This can filter out dust and metal powder to make the lubricant clean and enhance the lubrication quality. Most importantly, it maintains the high position of machine parts and mechanisms and extend machine's service lifetime. Okay, excellent. Sunny and Chandler, thank you very much for introducing some of the most important design features and some of the components of the MF4P. And uh, I will see you again at the end of the show. Thank, thank you. you. In this segment of today's IMTS industry show at Uqueen, we want to take a closer look at the assembly process for the MF4P. And next to me, this is one of their engineers of the quality assurance department, Mr. Danny Leo. Danny, thank you for joining us. Happy to be here. All right, so Danny, we want to talk about the assembly process. It's very important because for a high precision, high speed microforming machine like the MF4P, you need very precise and accurate assembly of the different crucial components. So maybe you can talk a little bit about that. 对，我们在组装机台时，精密要求间隙达到零点零二以内，如我们的连杆、重套、曲轴、主滑台。那我们的主滑台才手工厂化，可有效增加含油量，保护零件润滑机构。
Okay, got it. Now, Danny, another thing we want to highlight is that the MF4P is equipped with endpoint sensors that constantly monitor the positioning accuracy, right? Okay, so during the assembly process, you're already laying the foundation for the reliability, repeatability, and quality that the people expect from your machine. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and we'll be back in a few moments. In the next part, we'll be talking about U Queen's tech support, after sales services, and also about some of the optional accessories for the MF4P. Okay, so in this part, we'll be talking about some of the optional accessories for the MF4P. But first, we want to talk about some of the services that U Queen offers to their customers pre sale, during the sale, and of course, after sales services. And the young gentleman next to me is one of the members of the sales department here at U Queen, Mr. Ray Young. Ray, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? I'm Nathalie. And you? I'm good, thank you. So Ray, we want to talk a little bit about how you as a team support your customers and also potential customers right from the start. Not just for the MF4P, but in general. So maybe you can run us through the process how you help your potential customers to determine which U-Queen machine is the most suitable for them. Well, normally customers can provide their part drawing and special needs for our evaluation. Okay. And after that, we will discuss the forming solutions, mm -hmm. uh, the benefit or the potential risks of customization for mm -hmm. them. Okay, so that's the evaluation stage. And then? After that, we will suggest the most suitable machine model and optional parts for them. Okay, so depending on their individual requirements? Yes, of course. Okay, and I assume, of course, obviously, you help them set up the machine and get it running? Yeah, true. Okay, great. Now the machine is running, but even with high-quality microphone machines like this one, they might run into some problems, some issues. Maybe they have to replace a part or are just having some issues with the software. So I'll talk a little bit about the after sales services and how you help your customers. Okay, no problem. First, uh, we will assist our customer to resolve their problem remotely. Mm -hmm. We use Messenger app mm -hmm. or like video phone call or email to provide our technical consultation right. service. Right. Uh -huh. We always help the customer to troubleshoot the problem immediately. Okay, so always a swift very swift support from the Uqueen team. Right. And also we visit our customer regularly and irregularly to provide our professional opinion and technical opinion for them. Okay. So you just mentioned visiting the customer. Now, obviously you cannot visit all your customers around the world, but you do have a distributor network, you've got sales agents around the world that work together with you. Right. And maybe you can talk a little bit about um, where in the world your customers are and also about your agents in what regions uh, they are. Okay, our customers uh, distribute through our Asia, Europe and America. Mm -hmm. And our main customers are from India, China, Malaysia, and Switzerland, Germany oh, wow. and okay. the United States. So around the globe. That's right. Uh, the customer can buy our machine directly or they also can contact our dealer agent in each region. Okay, excellent. So no matter where you are in the world, there's definitely a distributor close by that uh, can provide a Ukraine microphoning machine. Yes. Okay. Now, Ray, I'm sure some of our viewers are very curious about the price of such a machine. I don't know how much you can tell us about that. Well, after confirming the details, we'll provide the quotation to you. Mm -hmm. And in this quotation, you can see all the information that you need. Mm -hmm. uh, in this quotation, you can see the value date, mm -hmm. and trade term, mm -hmm. currency, mm -hmm. 
and the price of each item and right. so on. Okay, so all the important details in one place, very clear, very transparent. Yeah, so everything is very clear, mm -hmm. open. Okay. But it's more difficult for us to tell you how much is this machine mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it depends on the machine model, mm -hmm. customization, mm -hmm. etc. Okay, got it. But I promise you, you will buy an economic machine with excellent precision and the machine will be worth every penny. Okay, <laughs> Ray, great. So you just mentioned it also depends on the optional accessories, right? Yeah. And that's exactly what we want to talk about now. So why don't we just talk about every single one, one by one, starting with the punch kick out system. Okay. And it is devised to ensure the finished product separation. Mm -hmm. So if the, your product's head is too big, mm -hmm. by this you can prevent the finished product to, from getting stuck in the punch. Okay, and uh, we also have an optional upgrade for the die knockout system, DKO, that can be upgraded to a double knockout system, right? Yes, it improves the roundness and the fullness of the product's head. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to add more material mm -hmm. or modify the die, you will get a perfect shape of product. Okay, great. Now we also have an optional uh, automatic part catcher. Yeah, this system can transfer the finished product to the collection area mm -hmm. so you can prevent the product from sticking or oil standing mm -hmm. loss even mixing with the mm -hmm. defective product okay and we yeah. have another optional accessory that uh, makes this setup or the feeding easier it's an automatic wire feeder yes this auto wire feeder it can control the wire feeding and it's one way break so you don't have to worry about the material deforming, backward pulling and shortage. Okay, excellent. And uh, Ray, we have one more optional accessory in terms of hardware that we want to highlight. And that's the so-called rotary collector. What exactly is that? The rotary collector allows easy batch control and prevention of the defective product mixing. It's an excellent tool for regular quality Bot checks and sample analysis during the production process. All right, excellent. And Ray, we have one more thing that we want to talk about, and it has to do with the controller. There, your customers have the option for a remote access gateway. Yes, this optional part. If you get some trouble with the electronic problems, mm -hmm. by, by this optional parts, you can solve the problem immediately. We mm -hmm. can provide like the program update yeah. or in real time to find what what's wrong with the machine. With the machine. Okay, yeah. so you can see from here what is going on in the machine far away, anywhere yeah. around the world. Yeah, it can save the time, mm -hmm. money, we don't have to mm -hmm. take a flight to you here. Okay, and it speeds up the troubleshooting process. Yes. But your customers don't have to worry about any uh, sensitive data, right? Because Yes, because the customer they have to assess the password mm -hmm. for okay. us. Yeah. So they have some kind of master password that only they have access to. They have to open it up for you, the system. Only then can you can see what's going on in the machine. That's right. Okay, beautiful. Ray, thank you very much uh, for joining us today, telling us more about the optional accessories and also about Ukraine services. Thank you. You're welcome. When it comes to the performance of a multi-station cold forming machine such as the MF4P, probably the most crucial component is the die or the punch. So in this segment, we want to talk about the die development, die design process at Uqueen with their production manager, Miss Emily Leo. Emily, welcome to the show. Hi, Camille. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Emily. So before we talk about the die design process uh, at Uqueen, let me ask you, how long have you been working for this company? Seven years. Seven years. So you have a lot of experience when it comes to micro-forming solutions and especially the die design process. So tell us a little bit why you believe that this is one of your most important competitive advantages. Sure. Uqueen has over 30 years of experience in die development. We are ready to meet customers' requirements at any time. Mm -hmm. From die design change to process adjustment, we provide the best production solution 
that save time and reduce production cost. And this helps our customers to get more orders. Okay, so can you talk a little bit more about this process step by step? How exactly do you help them design the perfect diet? First, we need to know the exact material and precision requirement. Mm -hmm. For the material, we will check if it's suitable for cold forming. Mm -hmm. If not, we will propose special solutions to our customers. Okay, and can you tell us a bit more about uh, how exactly you communicate the requirements in terms of precision and dimensions and so on? About the precision requirement. First, we confirm the part function and applications with the customer. Mm -hmm. Then we check all the dimensions and tolerance on the part drawing to make sure we are on the same page. Checking the position requirements is very important because it helps customers to reduce production cost. Okay, and then the next step is uh, the prototype design and prototype testing, right? That's right. We perform a product design and process analysis. Our software can simulate many different metals. It shortens development and process time. We will check all part feature quality and the extra performance of the die design in each station. In the next step, we check the part dimensions and appearance before sending it to the customer for final review. Okay, and once the customer confirms the design, you then uh, create or manufacture these dies according to the custom requirements. Yes, that's right. All right, thank you very much, Emily, for introducing the die design, die development process at UQueen. You're welcome. All right, and in the next segment, we'll be talking about some of the most important features of the controller on the MF4P. Industry 4.0, IoT, Internet of Things, all these latest developments, of course, also affect the fastener industry. And that is why Uqueen puts a very strong emphasis on constantly upgrading their software and their controller. Now, I'm being joined by electrical engineer Gary Leo, and we want to talk about how exactly they improve all their systems. Gary, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. All right, Gary, so I just said uh, you guys are always looking for ways to improve the controller, the software, to increase your customers' efficiency. So maybe you can share a little bit about that. Okay, so the system collects all kinds of data, but how exactly can you or the customer themselves, how can they use that data, analyze it to improve their manufacturing, the cold forming process? 我们会将生产资讯数据存档 all right, and Gary, I believe you can even use the data to predict potential problems in the future, right? 对, 我们可以做到预测机台可能发生的潜在问题，界面可监测项目包含关键零件之轴承、铜套或耗损之材、炉皮带、润滑油等，可以采取措施，并对设备进行维护保养或更换。all right. Now, Gary, I mentioned earlier that you are always looking for ways to improve the controller interface, the user friendliness to make machining with the MF4P and all your other machines as easy as possible. So we have a touch screen with all the most important functions in one place. Let's 
缩短异常问题的处理时间。Okay, and、um, the software, I believe, even has a module that automatically monitors the punch die status and also can detect、uh, several machining errors automatically, right? 是的，模具部分作为制品加工设备最重要的关键耗品，其品质直接影响制品品质优劣及模具使用寿命。透过模具生产次数的记录，以达到对模具供应商的数据管理及品质要求，并可预测并管控模具的采购周期。透过异常状态的追踪、管理与分析，决策者能快速掌握生产过程中，即使进入异常处理流程，且所有处理过程均被记录。在预产履历中，根据管理操作者、维修者之权限，管制使用者存取敏感资料及关键应用程式，给予不同的功能设定与数据管理。Okay, and、uh, finally, Gary, we want to highlight that、uh, your、uh, controller software can be easily integrated into existing ERP systems. 我们机台可提供生产数据。让客户端自行读取、输出与客户的内部 ERP 整合，即使呈现工厂设备运作状态，管理人员可以随时监看。All right, Gary, thank you very much for joining us today and for introducing the controller software on the U Queen cold forming machines. Thank you. Thank you. So we've learned a lot about the Uqueen team, the Uqueen company already, and of course the MF4P microforming machine. Now, in the final segment of today's IMTS Industry Show, we want to talk about machining safety. I'm sure a very important topic for everyone watching, and I'll be discussing it with Mr. David Wang, mechanical engineer with Uqueen. David, also welcome to the show. Nice to meet you. Come here. Nice to meet you as well, David. So tell us a bit about this machine's features that. Keep the operator safe at all times. In human protection, our machines use cross-section screws. Besides ensuring the operator's safety, it also has dissonant resonance amplifiers. Okay, and we also have another feature, which is called the normally closed brake system. Can you tell us a bit more about that? The machine uses a closed-circuit brake system. In the event of a collision, it prevents the machine's brake system. 滑动造成人员夹伤，避免伤害模具。另外，操作系统采用双手顺动，可确保人员安全。Okay, excellent. So another safety feature to keep the workers' hands safe. Now, when it comes to safety, of course, the workers' safety, the operators' safety, is the top priority. But I'm sure your customers also want to prevent any kind of damage to the machine or to any of the components, for example, during a malfunction. So, David, tell us a bit about some of the features in this regard. In the machine protection part, when the air pressure is low, the machine will be closed. The machine will automatically shut off. The machine will stop. 当空气压力足够时，所有安全门必须关闭，机器才能操作。Okay, got it. So we have a wide range of different safety mechanisms that keep both the operator and the machine safe during machining. Excellent, David. Thank you so much for joining us today and for giving us an overview of the safety features on U Queen machines. Thank you. Thank you. This was the IMTS Industry Show at U Queen Machinery, the microforming specialist from Taipei. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the machine that we introduced today, the MF4P Micro Cold Forming Machine, you can visit their website or just contact the U Queen team directly. Now, before we end today's show, General Manager Miss Kathy E has a few final words that she would like to share with you. Kathy, thank you everyone for watching. Ukraine team will continue to provide the best machine and service to customers. We will further increase the precision of our machine and develop a new smart microforming solution. So we look forward to working together with our current customer. And of course, 
hopefully new one in the future. All right, great. Kathy, again, thank you so much for giving us this opportunity today to film here. And thanks to the whole team for joining us today. Thank you, guys. And uh, we hope you enjoyed today's episode of the IMTS Industry Show at Ukraine Machinery. If you did, make sure to check out our other episodes. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.